and we are back from our holiday and if you guys do recall in the previous video i mentioned that i had landed an ac style spoiler for the e60 and today i'm just going to be opening that packaging and fitting it onto the bm but unfortunately the car is super dirty especially after being on that long road so as you guys can see here on the boot lid um, obviously it's faulty right around but this is going to be the main area where I'm going to be working on so I'm just going to for the purpose of this video give the car a quick clean just here and there here there are some fine scratch marks as well I'm not sure whether you guys will be able to tell but I'm thinking that I'm also just going to use my Meguiar's and polisher and just give the car a quick polish and then use some degreaser just to get any of that waxy residue off and then we will start um, fitting that spoiler but before we get into that let me just open the packaging and show you guys what the spoiler looks like oh yes and here we go with the first look at that new spoiler you guys can see it has been sprayed white as the supplier does offer color matching options and I opted to go for that to make it a lot more convenient so this should be perfect match for the BM so let me just take it to the car quickly hold it down and check where the color is spot on um, obviously I do expect that there may be slight variation due to the age of the car and the fact that there's been industrial fallout and that it may possibly need some detail in the paint correction but let's see how close to the original color the spoiler is. And yeah, I've placed the spoiler on top of the bootlet just to do a quick paint comparison. And I must say that uh, considering the age of the original paint, uh, the color is not too far off. So I'm hoping that once I do that polishing, that it will actually bring out some of that shine in the original color and that the spoiler will be 100% match. But so far, the color seems to be nearly spot on. So this is where we're at on that bootlet and I actually did one pass with the Meguiar's polishing compound and the foam pad as you guys will have seen and then off camera I actually did a deep crystal polish um, just to get rid of a little bit more of those finer swirl marks and um, yeah you guys can see there are still a few um, scratches and swirls but this is not meant to be a detailing video and as I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog my goal was actually to get the paint on the bootlet as clean as possible to match the new spoiler and I think that I've achieved that so while I was off camera I also decided to fit the double sided tape and as you guys can see I put those three strips um, two on the outer edge and one in the center uh, that all actually ran a bit short so ended up getting my um, 
super heavy duty double sided tape which I added over there and then there's obviously that small strip just to get that corner that I missed and then in the packaging it also came with this what I suspect to be a liquid cement or some sort of adhesive and I'm not sure whether I actually want to use this so it's either full scent or no scent and I think and I'm just going to open it quickly and see what it looks like and if it does look like it's going to do the job then I may just add some uh, in the groove over here so just between the double sided tape right through um, just to give it a little bit more adhesion and just an update so I managed to open it and it does seem to be some sort of a silicone sealer it actually reminds me of Bostick, uh, even from the smell. So I think that I am going to use just a little bit of that and just fill in some of the gaps. Um, and yeah, hopefully it will do the job just to keep that spoiler in place. And just a quick tip for anybody who is doing the spoiler fitment themselves. You can either use masking tape or insulation tape to mock up how the spoiler is supposed to sit and get the position correct. And then the convenient part is that once you've got it in place, you are able to just lift the spoiler, flip it over remove that covering on the double sided tape and then align everything back into place and just press it down firmly and then you should have a good clean seal on that spoiler fitment. The first modification is officially done to the beam and I am super happy with the outcome of the spoiler fitment and that obviously means that I am most likely going to be doing some additional modifications to the car so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as well as hit that bell icon for notifications of new videos that will drop shortly. But until the next one guys remember your bold, your rules, stay motivated. Cheers!